Hi there, I'm Kelly Dampfus and welcome to the October edition of the First Friday Video. We're coming to you from the entrance to the Red Wolf Fitness Center here at Arkansas State. And I'm joined today by Matt Huckabee, who's the Executive Director of Student Health and Wellness. He is also in charge of our A-State Club Sports Program. Thanks for joining us today, Matt. Hey, it's great. Welcome. Well, great. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this center, the building that we're in right now. It's pretty new, right? That's right. Well, you know, we try to keep it looking as new. That, that's, that's our main goal here. It's actually almost about 10 years old. Wow. It's about 86,000 square feet, $18 million state-of-the-art fitness center. We have three full-size basketball uh, courts, a multi-use gym, all the cardio and strength and condition equipment you could want in the gym. And we also have dedicated space for group fitness classes. And we're a one-stop shop. You can come in here for club sports, intramurals, group fitness classes. We were getting flu shots. Uh, yes. I think we did over a thousand flu shots yesterday. Um, and how we have this set up is you can come right here and ask our front desk along with get any of our information off uh, social media or our website. It really is amazing to have this. And I know that students are clamoring for more and more hours to come in here. Students are very concerned about their fitness, which is really good because it's not just about bulking up and the big exercise guys, but all kinds of students want to be more fit, right? Sure, so. and, and, I, and I think, you know, a lot of students come here and when they're working you know, for their four-year degrees, this is also a very formative time in their lives. And if they can get exposed to this and get comfortable in this environment, what an extra nice thing to give somebody with their university experience along with their four-year degrees is a healthier attitude toward maintaining um, um, their fitness and well-being. Yeah, so it's an extracurricular kind of activity that, that we're also trying to train people. I wish I had had that, those lessons earlier on myself. Now, uh, you also are in charge of all the intramural programs here as well. That's right. Um, Andrew Hooper, who's my intramural coordinator, who Carol Cummings oversees. Uh, they do a tremendous job. We offer 25 to 30 different activities that range into very competitive, uh, to flag football, uh, basketball, very competitive, to some tongue in cheek. My favorite, my personal favorite is dodgeball. Now we also have club sports as well. So, so these, these are uh, students who are competing, representing Arkansas State, but they're not competing at the NCAA level, but at a lower level but still competing against other institutions. That's right, and that's for students too. And a good way to keep intramurals and club sports separated is intramurals, they compete intramurally. ASU teams of students, ASU students competing against other ASU students. Um, club sports are extramural by nature. There are a group of ASU students that will go and beat and play Ole Miss or Fayetteville. So. Yeah, and so uh, you're particularly connected to the history of rugby here at Arkansas State. One of the things that surprised me when I came here is how big a deal rugby was. I mean, we're we're competing annually for national championships there. Sure, and, and I think we started with four people at our first practice, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, my big broken nose always gives the rugby away. Uh, but yeah, we started in that first year, we just kept at it and, and it kept growing and it, and it led us to our current structure of club sports. We have uh, two, two different tiers of club sports. We have our developed club sports, which are full funded programs now, our cheer and our rugby teams. And then we have our developing club sports, our ultimate frisbee, uh, swimming club. We have our um, shooting sports, bass fishing, archery, and softball, softball, national Thank championship. Yes, that's right. Team. National a couple championship. Of years ago. Yeah, 2017 won the national championship. The ladies are doing outstanding again this year. Fun to watch too. And one of the new club sports is esports, which right. is uh, something I'm absolutely not familiar with at all. I was about to say I was the an right expert motion. in. I've got something I can do the thing, but uh, sounds like uh, there's a lot of interest in our campus. That's right, and I think it's in response to what students are, how they are, what they're into um, these days. You know, we, we we threw it out there, and we had an overwhelming response. And in response to that, we, we started an eSports club team. Um, and, and hopefully you're gonna work that also into the intramural programming as well, um, just to access more students on, on eSports. Uh, we currently have um, six different games that we play across five different competitions, some of them being um, League of Legends, Rocket League, Apex, games like these uh, specific to what our students are playing right now. Um, it's been really, really neat to get involved with these students. They're excited about it. They bring a lot of energy and expertise to this program. And they're really helping form it and shape it moving forward, which is a great student initiative. Yeah, so student-led. And we're actually competing very well. I saw some of the competitions. We're beating teams that we want to beat 
in NCAA sports as well. That's so, right, that's right. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, it's very exciting. Well, thank you so much for your leadership there. Uh, we're excited about having all these club sports and having these uh, intramural programs and having this great facility. I actually, I don't work out here a lot, but I have. I've been really amazed by how good a quality the, the equipment is and, and uh, about how eager students are to be here to be working out. That's great. Thank well, so I have much. a great team that runs it and I'll be waiting for you on the treadmill after this. Uh, we'll get right there. Okay, okay thanks a lot, Matt. Speaking of the fall semester, we are off to another great start here at Arkansas State. Students across the campus are beginning to dig into their coursework. Faculty members are ramping up research with students and the administration is focusing on new projects. There's a lot of great news here at Arkansas State. Many of you have already heard about our Research 2 status, but you may not have heard about how that changes A-State in some well-known rankings as well. For many years, for example, A-State was among the top Southern Region Universities in U.S. News Annual Report of Colleges. As an R2, we are now entering what's called the national rankings for the first time, joining about 390 other universities on that list. We're very pleased to see that Arkansas State earned two additional mentions from U.S. News. Each one of those speaks to who we are at Arkansas State. First, we were tied for 76th in the nation in undergraduate teaching. It shows that even as a research university, we continue to have a commitment to instruction and to interaction with our students. It's a great compliment to our faculty. For decades, they have made a difference in the lives of our students, and that's being played out now in these rankings. They involve them in their research projects, and they also involve them in other aspects of their lives as well. They give them real-world experience and serve as their mentors. Ask any A-State alum, and they will tell you about the teacher that changed their life. And that leads us to another ranking. We are tied for 119th in the nation in a new category called social mobility. At the heart of this measurement is how many of the students arrive at Arkansas State from modest means and they depart with degrees that have changed the trajectory of their lives and their families' lives as well. A-State has been and always will be a university that serves first-generation students of our region and of our state. For some, that first generation is a bachelor's degree. For others, it is the first in their family to receive a graduate degree. A-State is all about opportunity. Oh, and there's one more thing about those rankings. A-State is number one in the state of Arkansas on both of them. I'd like to mention to you an important project that is also underway. We are working on a new strategic plan for Arkansas State this fall. A round of public input meetings are happening here in October. We're inviting our faculty, staff, students, alumni, and community leaders to sessions here on our campus to hear more about the draft of our strategic plan goals. These goals were the product of work by our steering committee with the help of individuals from each one of those groups this past spring. If you had the chance to participate, I hope that you can attend and give us your feedback. As we come to a close, I want to return to our club sports and talk with one of the members of our new eSports team. Stephen Holmquist is a senior communication studies major from Little Rock, and he's the vice president of our A-State eSports team. Thanks for joining us today, Stephen. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. It's great to have you here. That's a nice jersey you got on. I've got one just like it. It fits you a lot better than it fits me. <laughs> Uh, great to have you here. And so why don't you talk a little bit about what it's like to be on the eSports team? Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, the, as you mentioned, this jersey is awesome. You know, we, we saw a couple different designs and, and we love this one. Uh, it's, it's honestly such a blessing to be able to represent Arkansas State on the eSports team. It's, it's something that I've been passionate about for a while, playing, playing video games and being able to represent the university that I love is, is honestly crazy and I never imagined it could happen. Well, it's interesting. A lot of students that I talk to understand what's going on with eSports, mm -hmm. but Older people like me have no clue. I mean, I've played video games and mostly Pong as I was yeah. a young person. Uh, but can you explain to folks about what does it mean to compete uh, for a state on the esports team? Yeah, so to compete for a state on the esports team, you have to be at a high level in in any of the video games that we play. And a lot of times they're on they're on the PC or the console, and and we put in hundreds and thousands of hours ourselves playing our games against random people online. And then as we have a team, we're going to practice and we have been practicing together with other Arkansas State students and being able to, to play against universities such as the University of Nebraska, Wichita State, uh, University of Fayetteville. We've, we're gonna have an opportunity to play against all these other colleges that have teams. And I think what makes esports cool is that the people who play and fans are also able to watch and communicate with others while the game's going on on our Twitch channel. There's not just a few people watching esports, there's probably more people watching esports than are watching football anymore. Like there's yeah. millions of people there watching. Is. It's crazy, yeah. yeah. Um, in, in some of the last numbers from the game that I play, League of Legends, their world championship brought in 99 million viewers. And, and that's, that's more than MLB championship, NHL, 
and NBA combined. Combined. And so, and actually the young man who won the tournament won something like yep. three or four the, million dollars. The winner of the Fortnite tournament Fortnite. won three million dollars. That's crazy. Yeah. That's incredible. Well, it's really interesting to, to see that. Now, how did you get started in esports? Yeah, so my my background was actually in traditional sports. I played soccer my whole life. That was my passion. I saw you working and out over there. You're lifting some weights, actually. Yes, sir. So I've, you're I'm trying to stay healthy, guys. trying to keep my yes. mind healthy as well. And and so when once I transitioned from playing sports due to injuries, I, I wanted to fuel my competition somewhere. And so video games is something that I that I've loved my whole life. And when I found out about this game, League of Legends, I got on it and I just wanted to win. You know, I hate losing and and so I climbed the rankings until until I got where I am and, and now I'm here representing Arkansas State playing it. It's oh, awesome. really cool. Well, like all of our student athletes, mm -hmm. uh, you'll also have a backstory. You have a story about who yep. you are. Why don't you yes, tell sir. us a little bit about who you are and where you came from? And yeah, um, my name's Steven. Yep, <laughs> I've, I was born in California and I live, I live in Little Rock now and so I uh, video games, like I've said, in sports have just been a huge part of my life, and my parents have been very supportive in the ways that they've allowed me to compete. They've seen returns, and they see what I'm doing for the university, and, and they're really proud, and, and it's really cool. And you see. can actually make a living playing professional mm -hmm. sports, even without winning the whole tournament. Correct, People yeah. Make, and can make a living doing Yeah, this. and so, some games are, are salary-based, where they're getting four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars for playing and, and some are based on winnings and tournaments as well as streaming which you don't even play competitively you're just entertaining others while they're watching. Uh, I know also that the Arkansas Activities Association has also added esports as an official high school sport yeah. with state championships and so eventually a lot of those students will be coming here as well and we hope that they think of Arkansas State as a great place to come yeah. to continue their for efforts sure. uh, in, in esports as well. If you want to know more about Red Wolves esports contact our coach Stephanie at esports sports at astate.edu. And also, if you want to keep up with the competitions, you can also follow them on Twitch and on Twitter. That's twitch.tv slash Arkansas State and Twitter slash Astate Esports. Well, that's it for this month's First Friday video. Remember, you can always contact me on social media at KDAMP, and you can always email me at chancellor at astate.edu. All right, Wolves up, everybody.